We're mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. KTDD, Riverside, San Bernardino. Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Los Angeles Lakers. This is Xavier Henry from the LA Lakers. You listen to IU Sports Day. For the love of money. Yes, we are live right here in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. Pretty good show we got today. We got a jam-packed show. We got uh, coming up first is going to be Coach Todd Malecki from the Desert Valley All-Star Game. You know, what I'm excited about is this year we will be involved with that game. Hey, let me tell you something, uh, Coach B. Uh, really, really excited about that, man. This gentleman here is a basketball fanatic, and I'm really excited to have him on the show and more so be involved with the game. And then we're going to have also on the show, we're going to have Coach Four. He's going to call in in the middle of the hour. Yes. He's uh, involved with the high desert football game. So uh, they invited us to come down. Coach Four is very involved with uh, with uh, uh, high school football up in the high desert. They invited us to come out. Don't know if our time is going to permit, but we definitely wanted to make sure that we gave him some love on Fox Sports 1350. And at the end of the hour, are you going to be okay, with Eternal? Because we have a JW North alumni. And when I let her know you are Ramona Ram, she didn't take too kindly to that. I'm not going to talk about it right now. Miss <laughs> Simone DeCou will be coming. I hope I said her name correctly. She's going to um, gonna be coming in at the bottom of the hour. So we're excited about that. We'd love to get uh, UCR uh, students in. Should I say the full name? Because your hometown is what? The Riv. There you go. So I say you see the Riv. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just call them the Highlanders, but it's no, it's, it's, it's University of Riverside. There you, know, you go, uh, University of California, California, Riverside at Riverside. Make sure you put that out. There. My niece Jasmine Arrington graduated from that school, so uh, you know it's a, it's a, I, I endorse that school. So there you go. You got to do it. So I so without any further ado, right here on Fox Sports 1350, we are really excited. We have a gentleman on. Like I said, he's the director of Iceman Basketball, Coach Todd Malecki on IE Sports Net Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and the one and only Eternal. Coach, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Hey, I'm Coach, excited. Coach, I'm just you know a little he rainy exhausted. today. But... I was about to say, I was about to say his Twitter fingers have been going crazy. Right. This man is working on it, man. Coach, how are you feeling this morning? First things first. Well, I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, I'm just excited to to be on the radio talking basketball and talking uh, about our Riverside players. Um, again, I appreciate all the thing, all the things you guys do for our area. Fantastic, Coach. And again, we're extremely excited this year. Uh, we're going to be a part of the 11th annual. Desert Valley. Did you say 11 years? I did say that, Coach. 11 years they've been 11 doing this game. 11 annual. Okay, I just want to make sure. Uh, Desert Valley All-Star Game. The game's going to host the best players, uh, high school seniors, uh, basketball players in Riverside County. Talk talk to us a little bit about the expectations for the 11th annual game, sir. Well, one of the things that we expect is that the kids play really hard. And we talk about that, how they should respect the game and represent their school, their families, and their communities with the highest of efforts on and off the floor. And, uh, you know, the fact that you're asked to play in a game, um, and if it's a really good game, that you, you give it your best effort. You know, I was a recruiter. I still am uh, run a recruiting service, and I go see a lot of games, and I get videos sent and DVDs, and, you know, I'm looking at a big, huge stack here. I still have to go through of, of, <laughs> of guys that want me to watch their players. But, you know, the, the bottom line is is you control your effort, and that's what we talk about, you know. Right. Play really hard, and, and every year – we get three or four kids that, you know, end up getting something. And, um, you know, and I started it because of the location, Riverside being so large that, uh, you know, it spread out. And we didn't have anything in my area here. I live in, you know, southwest Riverside. And so, it, you know, it was started with a bunch of coaching friends, and it just kind of been building and building. And, you know, with the addition of you guys and Press Enterprise and uh, Riverside Sheriff's Association and a few others that I've been getting phone calls on. We're just excited for this 11th annual game. The girls' game, too, is, is fantastic. Exactly. Um, I just absolutely, it's unbelievable the amount of fantastic players that still fall through the cracks to this day with all the technology and everything. Uh, there's just, you can't judge a player's heart, and I think that's what we try to get the kids to do, just play so hard at it burns, you know, that they just play so hard that people just go, wow, i got to get this kid. Right, exactly. Now, Coach, now, again, we uh, you've been coaching for over 24 years. Uh, 
And <clears throat> excuse me, why, why do you feel that the uh, All Star Games, especially the one happening here in Riverside County, why do you feel that's so important? Well, when I moved here, uh, I just noticed we didn't have a lot of colleges close. I mean, everything for kids in our area here is 45 minutes out. So if you're a community college, a D1, D2, whatever the case, it really was, uh, you know, a, a far distance. So I started thinking about, uh, you know, my experience in the South Bay in the Torrance area. We had a fantastic all-star game there. And, and when I was a college coach, I would go recruit the players there and go to practice and stuff. So I implemented a lot of things that dated at the South Bay Athletic Club and got, uh, you know, together with, Coach Ruth and some different uh, coaches out here, and that uh, good friends of mine, and we, right. you know, we decided to do it. But I just think um, there wasn't anything for our kids, so the season ended, and that was it. And I wanted something more than just travel ball. You know, I did travel ball for a number of years, but you know, I really like where we can showcase you know our kids in in, in the area, and, and especially it's it's gotten you know a lot of exposure and positive things, and that's because of so many people that work hard on it and friends and coaches and, and people that support it like you guys. And, and, uh, and, you know, and that's one of the things that we're excited about. We're joined on the phone once again by Iceman Basketball Director, Coach Todd Malecki, on IE Sports and on Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. Now, Coach, now we know the submissions that you've got for the game have been amazing. Um, we've not seen the roster yet. It's not been ex- announced. But how excited are you? Uh, this is 11 years in. Uh, everyone knows about the game. How excited are you with the response of the area coaches as well as the area players? How, how has that response been for you, Coach? Well, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm still getting, you know, a lot of submissions and stuff. But, you know, I scout a lot of games, too, and watch a lot of games on tape. And, uh, you know, the first few years it was, you know, we had good players. But, but now, I mean, there, there's some really good players. So, you know, we try to be fair across the board. I have two or three guys that kind of help me and then you know coaching friends will call in or a college guy will say hey what do you think of this kid take a look at this guy so you know i'm excited about it every year like i said there's one or two kids you know we had noah gutierrez uh from cdr a deaf kid play last year and he played phenomenal and you know he i went and saw him after uh, jeff perini from the press enterprise told me he scored 70 in a game i went and saw him like this kid's really good i don't care if he's deaf or can hear or what he mm-hmm. deserves to be in the game exactly. the next game he played in he was mvp of the game and he was in the uh um, sports illustrated so you know he's at Gallaudet college now and mm-hmm. he, he just emailed me the other day and said you know he had you know great experience and loved it and uh and that's what we want. You know, we want we want the best players, and we want them to understand that it's it's a real honor to be asked to play in anything. And then, you know, especially the the things that we're doing for the kids with the exposure, additional exposure for some of them that signed already. You know, I talked to the colleges that signed them, so you know, I know what they're expecting. You know, they they want to see hear their kid play really well. So and you know, you know coach, know, coach, not to cut you off, but speaking of that, you when you talked about the evaluation, that that'll take me into my next thing. I know you're doing the All Star Game. But let's set this up when you talk about the evaluation to give people a little more understanding. In addition to the All-Star Game, you're doing the 8th Annual College and Recruiting Night at Lake at Lakeside. Tell us a bit about that because I know you're going to go off into the recruiting and all the things. You've, 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 you've helped countless amount of kids. But give us a little bit about that, how those two work together. Well, in the past, I would when I had travel teams, we would take them out to different events. And, boy, we'd spend a whole lot of money and travel time and whatever. And, and I just felt... Um, being a coach first at heart, I, I really like to work with the kids a little bit. So we bring in some fantastic high school and college coaches to help uh, give instruction and direction. There's a lot of teaching that goes on at this event. It's Friday, March 24th, 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, at Lakeside High School. Do it a week before the All-Star Game. So a lot of the kids that are going to be in the game, if they haven't signed, I like them to come to that as well. We try to keep the cost down. It's about half of what most it's 65 if you sign up early. But I put the kids on my report. I, I send it out to colleges all over the country. And uh, every year we get, last year we had Marcus Gonzalez from uh, uh, Vista Murrieta High School uh, signed with Arizona Christian literally two days after the event. They nice. loved him. Uh, this year I have over 10, 11 players, 6, 7 or above that are in. So, you know, if I'm a college coach, a JUCO or NAIA coach, I'm all over this. A lot of the D1s and D2s can't come because it's kind of a quiet time for them. But for me, it doesn't matter because I know all these guys anyhow, so I'll, I'll send out to you know, numerous guys on, you know, they should take a look at a kid. I just had a coach 
from a JUCO level call me for help yesterday and send out a mass email and try to help my friends. But, uh, you know, it's our eighth one. We're excited about it. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's something I think that can help a lot of kids. And we get kids from all over, L.A., Orange County, San Bernardino, San Diego. I've got, you know, 800 postcards going out to every – Nice high school, and you know, in our area. So, and and you know, we definitely will be there. We definitely want to come out. We're excited. So, coach, do me a favor. Give us a, a once again. Give us the time, date, and location of the 11th annual Desert Valley All Star Game. I know it's going to be at Lakeside, but give let our audience know, uh, and then all your Twitter and social media, so they can follow as well. Absolutely. Okay, on Twitter, I'm at Todd T O D D Malucky. M-A-L-E-C-K-I, or you can plug in Desert Valley All-Star, and it'll pop up on Twitter. I'm on Facebook at Iceman Basketball, I-C-E-M-E-N Basketball. Uh, I could be reached on cell, 310-502-4117. Uh, our eighth annual college and recruiting night is Friday, March 24th at Lakeside High School from 6 to 9 p.m., $65. Uh, the All-Star game, there's a practice uh, before the game on Wednesday, that's the 29th, and uh, you know all that information can be uh, relayed on my website, uh, IcemanBasketball.com, and uh, and then the game is the the 31st at Lakeside High School. Yep, yep. Uh, girls game at six o'clock, <clears throat> boys game at 7:30. There's a free throw and uh, three point contest before each game, and then boys game there's a slam dunk contest in the middle. Uh, boys game half court shot. For 50 bucks for any fan in attendance, and your tickets purchased at the door could be used for both games. So, hey, I appreciate it, guys. Yes, sir. Keep dry yes, today, man. Keep hey, on doing absolutely. what you're doing, Eternal and Coach B. And I Esports Net will definitely be on, on site. We're excited about that. Once again, that's Coach Todd Malecki, director of Iceman Basketball. I Esports Net will announce it. And he, IE Sports Net's official sponsor. We will be there. He's got me fired up. I'm ready to get right? the little copper, uh, the little copper knee braces. They copper never them little copper <laughs> joint. You know, put them on and, and you know and bring it back. You know, because I am, you know, for people that don't know, I am Park and Rec back to back to back MVP. There you go. There you go. And, and, you know. and we're going to take a commercial break. Coming up next, we got a jam packed show today. Coming do. up yes, next, we will be Coach Four. That was Tom Malecki. Let's go ahead and take a commercial break. You ready to do this, Eternal? Yes, sir. You're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood-thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa. Dexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24 7. Call 800 282 8605. That's 800 282 8605. 800 282 8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello. My name is Officer Richard Guerrero, 
vice president of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Indian Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside. It is IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach. I mean, with Coach. <laughs> it's yeah. I mean, you want to be me, you know. You want to be me. It's all good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> connected by Boost with Boost Mobile is Fox Sports thirteen fifty. I am. The one and only Eternal. And I am the real Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. You know, I, I call my loosely call myself Coach B because my experience coaching youth football, but we have a real coach yes, indeed. on the line with us. We're joined on the phone by Coach Four of IE on IE Sportsnet Fox Sports thirteen fifty with Coach B and Eternal. He really needs no introduction. Exactly. Hey Coach Four, how you doing today, sir? Hey, I'm doing good, man. Thank you guys for having me on. I really appreciate it. Hey, no problem, man. Glad to have you on. Now, Coach, for I, what I can tell you is you can't get on Twitter without seeing your stuff on there. Right. I mean, you you have a you have remember, a finger. Remember he got you and he said mission accomplished yeah, a exactly. couple of years ago? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, there you, you go. There you, you go. You have a fingerprint on there. Uh, first question I want to ask you, just kind of just off the cuff, like why do you think it's important uh, to, to really uh, kind of keep an eye on social media the way that you do? Well, I just, I mean, I, I love high school football. I love, I love working with coaches. And so that's, that's why I'm on there. I, uh, I, I love being able to, you know, help guys as, as they need it, uh, specifically, you know, with, with the job search process and, yes, yes. and program building is what I've been doing. And so it's just, man, I, I remember I hit 500 followers. I thought, you know, Hey, that's good. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. And, and, uh, I, I never thought I'd be connected to all those guys, but it's been really amazing building relationships with guys all over the nation through, through Twitter. Yep. And you do a really good job again, especially on, in, in the respect of, uh, coaching jobs, coaching availability, and just, you know, just different, uh, techniques and so, so forth. So again, just hats off to you for uh, doing that job. Um, also, let us know a little bit about this game. Well, obviously, that's why we have you on air today. We have the uh, the um, we have the West Desert versus the East Desert football All Star game taking place. Uh, I mean, when I tell you it's a massive uh, territory, we're talking about eight thousand one hundred twenty eight square miles, forty one schools, and one hundred and sixty two total seniors. Huge game. Talk to us a little bit about that, Coach. It's massive. You know, I looked it up yesterday. The, the acre, the the mileage we're covering with this game is bigger than four states: Rhode Island, uh, Delaware, Connecticut, and New ah, Jersey. That's crazy. So yeah, it's a fun one. But we've got seniors from from all over up here, uh, the high desert, Big Bear, all the way up to uh, Burroughs High School in Ridgecrest. Wow! Uh, and then so what we're doing? This is a tenth annual high desert all star football game. For the first eight years, we had teams just in the Victor Valley and Apple Valley area playing each other. But last year we expanded that to teams from the Victorville area, right. Apple Valley area. We're playing schools from the Antelope Valley, Quartz Hill, East Side, those schools over there. And uh, we, we started this last year, East versus West Desert. And, boy, it was we, – we have two games, a small school, give those kids an opportunity, right. and a large school game. And last year, the large school game, it was won on the last play of the game by those fellas over on the west side. So the east side boys are, are hungry for a little revenge. <laughs> That's always good to see. Now, we had a chance to, uh, to look at the rosters for the game. I mean, how excited are you, Coach, uh, by the response? Obviously, you guys have gotten uh, the rosters are just incredible. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, it is. We, we've got the, the best seniors from both of these deserts you know, coming out to play. Last year, we, we were missing some of the better kids just because they kind of didn't know, you know, this new format, how it was working or whatever. But, there again, you know, there was a lot of a lot of pride off of last year's game. And some of the kids who, you know, who did not play last year missed a great opportunity. And I think that word spread that 
man, this is a this is a great event. So there's some tremendous athletes over at uh, Antelope Valley High School specifically. I'm really looking forward to seeing. And you know, there was a the big game Silverado versus Antelope this year in the I think the semifinals. You know, and so to, to get these kids playing again against each other, Quartz Hill, they beat. Serrano this year for the first time ever. Wow. I think 20 years they've been playing, you know, and so now those kids get another chance to battle each other. So th- those those are fun battles to see. And then, of course, it's always just really neat seeing the kids, you know, the kids who don't like each other during a regular season get a chance. and really 11 months out of the year, <laughs> you know, they, they, they get a chance to come together and, and, and be on the same team, and that's really cool to see too. And that's always a good thing. We're joined on the phone with Coach Four on IE Sports and on Fox Sports 1350 with Coach being Eternal. And, you know, Coach, you, you, you hit it right on the head. As you know, uh, we at IE, full disclosure, we at IE Sports and are involved with three All-Star games currently, the Inland Valley Classic, uh, as well as the Riverside Sheriff's Association game and the 215 Classic. Uh, one of the things that coaches have told us, and, and, and I follow you on social media, uh, your website is phenomenal. Eight Laces uh, is phenomenal. You know, a lot of the coaches has told us and this is a byproduct that eternal and i didn't think about is a lot of coaches get jacked up they're like one more week of football you know tell us about how great is it for you as a coach to be involved in another week of football in in february (laughs) yeah that that is the thing you know i'm i'm actually not coaching in the game this year because i'm orchestrating you know most of it here but i've done a lot of all-star games in the past and it is it just gets the juices flowing again some of these coaches, you know, they haven't coached since November, so they've been out of it for a few months. And so it is. It always just kind of jacks you up to get back out there. And then the other thing is, I mean, you're working with the, the class. You know, you're working with the top kids in the entire area. You know, we basically got like three or four seniors from, from each school, you know. And so you're working with these kids where it's like, hey, uh, here's a route I need you to run. And Yes, sir. And, and they run it with precision, mm-hmm. you know. And so – that, that that's a really cool thing about coaching an all-star game from a coaching point of view is, is that, you know, the feedback you always get from these coaches is, man, these kids are outstanding. You know, I was down at one of your guys' games, you know, the Inland Valley Classic. I was right. down there for the that, – and that small schools game down there, the same thing, man. It ended on the last, last play of the place. game. That Two was, seconds yeah. ago, a 77-yard yeah. touchdown pass. <laughs> that, Incredible. That was, amazing that was an incredible game and then the and then the large school game you know that 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 i can't remember which side came back but you know it looked like a blowout and yeah and and then and then they came back to you know make it a game that was another exciting game you guys do a really great job with that that's the first time i've been down to that game and and uh what what a great event that was small school and large school um so i i just think the kids love getting back in it for one time one last time you know a lot of these kids they're, they're not going on to college. Now, you know, one of the cool aspects from this game, and I'm sure with the All-Star games you guys do too, is that it is kind of one last shot for some kids to be seen. Right, We got right. a kid, we, we got a small schools kid up here who, who uh, you know, I sent the rosters off to a bunch of colleges, and we got a kid all the way up in Bishop, Bishop, which is a couple hours north of us here. Wow. Uh, you know, he, he's at a small school, but he got a full-ride scholarship offer to an NAIA school, you know, in Chicago, because these coaches looked at these rosters, pulled up highlights, and they, they were just wowed with this kid. So nice. uh, a, a kid I coached a couple years ago at a small school up here, uh, he went and just played lights out in the All-Star game, and they were thinking about him, but they said, hey, we're going to see what this All-Star game highlight footage is against big schools. He gets in there, gets a, an interception, and just shut down this kid as a corner. And he got an offer the next Monday to go to a school uh, out in uh, out in the Midwest, and so that's a really awesome thing for these kids too. And that's a good thing. And you know, my my full disclosure: my son is a a, well, he's a freshman, going to be a sophomore on Etiwanda's football team. And I always tell him, my favorite college for you is free. So it doesn't (laughs) matter. It doesn't matter if it's NAIA, D one, D two, or three, or JC. You know, if he goes yes, to Chafee sir. College and plays it, because I tell him, get an education. That's all you need to worry about. And, you know, one thing, Coach, the high desert 
is I'm an outsider looking in, but the high desert is a part of San Bernardino County. Yep, yep. High desert is often overlooked. When people think of the IE, they think of, you know, Riverside, San Bernardino. But why is it so important for this game for the high desert? I think you kind of hit on it where a kid uh, in, in Bishop can get looks at. But uh, I know you're passionate about it. Again, I follow you on social media. But why is it so important to highlight these high desert kids? And now it's a great thing you brought in Antelope Valley into the fold as well. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. There's so much stinking talent down there. Yeah, you don't re- These college coaches, a lot of them, they don't need to drive an extra 35, 40 minutes up here into the desert or hours up to a place like Bishop. You know, they can find it all right down there in the IE. I mean, the talent is so incredible. But we've got some really good football players up here. And so, it, again, I, I did hit on it. it. It's great to kind of showcase these kids one last, one last game for them to get some film as well against – you know, cream of the crop. And so that's why it is important for the desert kids to, to also have that chance. You know, some of them get invited to play in games down down the hill and all-star games, but it's not very – it's like maybe 5% of kids, right. you know. Right. Right. So so to be I, – I, I love kids. I've been working with teenagers since 1995. And so to be able to give these kids that same kind of quality experience, that that's what I'm all about. And, and, you know, we're excited. It's, so is it – I just want to make sure it's the high desert also. I game. Are you calling it the West ver- the West Desert versus East Desert? Well, it's kind of a long title, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's the high desert all-star football game, West Desert versus East Desert. This is put on by the Community Youth Athletic Program. Which nice. is So it's, it's a fundraiser uh, for a community outreach right, uh, program. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be today. Saturday, February 18th at Hesperia High School. The small school game kicks off at 1 p.m. The large school game kicks off at 4 p.m. So make sure you guys get out there and you follow it. And also, I want to give Coach Four some props. 8laces.org is a great website, great tool for coaches. He has postings for uh, jobs and whatnot, and, and it's a really, really great website. So thank you. for. I know you said you had to go get to your son's game. Uh, so thanks, yeah. for, for, thanks for spending. To tell your wife we said thank you because exactly. I know what it's like. Uh, I'm sure she's probably poking and prodding you right now. So uh, I've you know, been you there. You don't know coach. how you don't know how accurate you are, right? Like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a married husband with three kids, and I, I know. Believe me. Uh, so thank you, right, coach. We appreciate it. Thank you, coach. Hey, keep so, up the great work, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. So that's uh, that's uh, coach once again. That's coach, coach four. four. And you know, just a story is a caveat. And that's remember when we first started getting yes. this train rolling. Yes. I, I forget what school it was. It came down here and I played Norco and beat them. And, then, right. and they text, and he texts you, yes. and he said, eternal mission accomplished. Yes, we, we always laugh about that. Oh, yes, so. indeed. No, we appreciate that. Uh, so, again, big up to uh, Coach Ford. He's doing a really good job out there, and uh, keep up the good work. Absolutely. I'm going to see if I can get up there. I'm going to see if my time permits. But they're talking about a, a uh, monsoon today. I know. So I don't know if I want to be going up that that, that pass. You I know. know. And, and the way that, you know the way my car is rolling, I don't know if the RTA yeah. takes me all the way down right, there. Right, right. So. You know, it's the thing about it. Like I was telling my son, because, you know, BJ loves watching the weather and the news. I'm like, man, it's just rain. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's no tropical. Hey, man, look, <laughs> and we, and we are privileged, man. We out here, man. You know, you get some raindrops. Folks don't know how to drive. It's, right? it's a crazy thing. You know, like I always say, we get our water imported. Hello. You know, and, and Tony, 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 I'm going to find them because they lie. Yeah. Because uh, it does rain in Southern California. So. Indeed. So, yeah, so, man, we, hey, we have a guest coming up next. Uh, uh, folks, look, we are really excited. Simone DeCou. I hope I said that right. If you didn't, you're going to be in some trouble. Exactly. Uh, She's going to lace me up. She, she probably got some sneakers <laughs> right. in, her, in her car. Ready to go right now. So, yeah, so we're really excited. So, you folks want to make sure you stay tuned. We have a really good guest coming up next, Coach B. And then uh, also, we're going to, you know, we're going to, and we got some, we got some news. We're going to Talk about you know it's, it's uh right now it's CIF basketball playoffs okay, okay. playoffs right 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 yeah, you know what I mean so we're gonna talk a little bit before about I that. forget let's yes, let's sir. give a shout out to the uh, UCR AD uh, she, oh, she AD re- Jones yes, yes, yes she yes. retweeted us uh, so yes. I sent her information about an event at Pachanga so I think she may go out so I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it or not. But uh, it'll be cool to right. to hang out. So. And also, I want to make sure we uh, we're going to be live at Pechanga. Uh-huh. We're going to be hanging with our guy uh, Floyd Money Mayweather, uh-huh. uh, the uh, Money Team, the Money Team. Right, right. What day? What day is that? That's Friday. I, I, I don't that, know. Don't wanna, start me the line. Yeah, I want to say that's Friday. Uh, we got there's a Riverside. Uh, our guy Saul, Riverside local guy. He's, uh-huh. he's twenty and zero. Uh-huh, he's going to uh-huh. be boxing uh-huh, uh, uh-huh. on the on the on the car. So we're going to be we're really excited about that. So we'll be doing that. Uh, this week. That's, week. And, you know, That's we week. live by Floyd's uh, motto, hard work. Dedication. There you go. So you're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. Mr. Koo up next. Big shout out to my man Dennis Baker. What's good?
listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous community. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment. Youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Yo, what up? This is Send Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet. All day long, all day strong, you heard? Yes, we are live on the Great City Riverside Hotline. 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 Yeah, I don't. I don't hear you. That's, yeah. that's all. See, that's there, you there, we go. Yeah, there we no, go. There we go. Greg, keep him off. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> Live don't radio. let Coach B try to sabotage this, man. Get us how you sports that connected by Boost Mobile. Fox Sports. It keeps going. Hello. Is my mic on? There you go. Uh, we're live on IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am the one and only Coach B. Eternal is having some technical difficulties. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. We're joined. Is your mic, man? G on. Holler, we're I good. paid you we're extra good. money to make sure yeah. his mic doesn't work. <laughs> but we're joined in studio. We're really excited. Uh, thanks to, to A.D. Jones, as well, as well as our guy Jeremiah, that always takes good care of us. Always. Uh, UCR. 
uh, University of California at Riverside. Let me get it right because A.D. Jones might be listening. Say, I don't want her getting upset say. with me. You know, senior email. guard Simone Deku. Did I get that right? Yeah. There you go. On IE Sports Net, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. I got to ask you, how many times did they mess your last name up? Oh, man, a lot. <laughs> Maybe butchering my last name. <laughs> I can imagine, like, somebody announcing it, you looking up like, hey, man, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> now, you were a senior guard over at the uh, uh, with the Highlanders, and before we talk about uh, your, your career at UCR, you also a standout player at JW North, and I know so I got So what school did you Hey, go man, to? stop it. I already knew he was going to say that. Because <laughs> uh, she was like, you with the Ramona? I was like, hold on. I had to kind of give her the... I had to give her like, the... this a long time ago. Yeah, I, said, I had to give her the short version. I said, well, when we play... Played, you know, we had some, you know, you know. But they yeah. still had the bucket at the top. That they had to get the and, up. <laughs> and he oh, and I man. graduated the same year, so oh, I, I know for sure. Oh, oh, trust me, we have some empty story. But again, you worked. Uh, you got a chance to work under your father, mm -hmm. uh, who was Leonard Deku, and you led the Huskies to a CIF championship. Uh, championship game. Championship game, pardon me, yeah, pardon yeah. me, pardon me. Went to the championship game with a record of 33 and 4. Tell me what it was like to, because uh, as Coach B mentioned, he was coaching his son. Yeah. So yeah. I know, and I know my dad coached me. I mean, my goodness. I won't it was, ever do that again. It was a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. But tell us how it was, uh, your father coaching you. And he might be listening. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> yeah, he is, he is. Nah, my dad was a, he was a good coach. Um, every time you would, uh, he would, mostly he would yell at me. Right, yeah. right, right. Yep. Which most like, dads do, right. Yeah, like. Of course, he's my daughter. He doesn't want everyone saying, like, oh, he's going easy on her. Mm -hmm. um, right, right. Oh, she's just in the game because that's your daughter. Right. It was more like, if I miss a layup, I'm out the game. Right, like, right. Like, if someone else misses a layup, he'd be like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'd be yeah, in my right. face screaming, yelling, right. veins popping out of his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eyes and then, bulging. And then you guys got to get back to the house, right? And yeah. Then you guys, and then that's the, it's the ride home. No, and it's, it's different. Uh, he doesn't really yell at he doesn't yell at me at the right home. He just oh this hype this you know this right. how you fix it's your coaching. mistakes. And, right, exactly. It's just a you know yeah, oh, you yeah. gotta do it. And, 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 oh, and, I, and I'm sure Brian Jr. is at home saying, I know how it feels. I, oh, he's sitting there going, Oh man. <laughs> Believe me. Oh man, I remember yeah, many a day walking home from my dad, my father's screen. But anyway, I, I currently uh your team right now, the Highlanders are are with have an overall record of fourteen and eleven. Eight and four in conference, congratulations. And your team is coming off a huge win, uh, 73 to 69 over UC Santa Barbara. Talk to us about this season, because I know, you know, and especially you, you've gotten a, gotten a quite a bit of press. I know that you guys have played some big games. We talked a little bit about that off air, but kind of maybe you can talk to our audience about your season this year. Um, this season this year was uh, a little bumpy. Uh, we have new players, right. so it, it takes them a while to understand the offense. Our offense is pretty hard. Right. Uh, we're just trying to gel together. Just become one, and you know it's hard. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And we're yeah. in studio once again by University of California at Redlands Highlands at, at Riverside. At, at, I'm sorry, Redlands. I'm sorry, Riverside. I'm you sorry. Really about Riverside. You about to close him out of here, man. I know. I'm just Jones is going to call like what? What? You know? At Riverside. My bad. I, I'm I'm dyslexic. Uh, senior guard Simone Deku on IE Sports and on Fox Sports 1350 with Coach being Eternal. Now I'm looking at some of the highlights from uh from the season. Uh, when I was looking at some of the highlights, you, I mean, you went off. On KU, I mean, listen to this eternal. It was Naismith Day. Everybody's <laughs> happy. It was a, a 125th anniversary of the uh, creation of basketball. You know, Nate Smith was one of the coaches. Indeed. There. What did Miss Deku do? All she did was uh, she had a uh, a record season uh, uh, highs. You had 29 points mm -hmm. um, in 45 minutes. You made uh, nine field goals, five three pointers. Tell us, I mean, did you just want to embarrass them? I mean, on their <laughs> special day, give us a little something about that. Uh, it just came. I don't know. Yeah. You know when you have those big games? Just right. No, I don't. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I sat right. on the bench, so right. I, I don't. <laughs> and, and me, I was just parking wreck, you know, um, MVP back to back, you know, nothing, nothing major, you know. No, nah, it was a good experience, though. Um, you know, when you're in that level, you know, some some people play, like, really good. Right. And I, I don't know. I just... And it was a big, it was a big stage too. It was obviously a big stage for you guys, yeah. so I know that was huge for you. Yeah, my shots were just going in, and that's how it. You was in yeah. the zone. Yeah, yeah I was right. In the zone. You <laughs> were in that zone, right? There you go. Uh, it reminds you of like when you watch what's that movie with Bruce Leroy when he got the oh, glow? Yeah, when he got the glow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy, you know, he, I know well, that's before had, your time. Uh, Ask your dad. Yeah, Ask your yeah, dad. Yeah, dad, I know about yeah, that. Uh, yeah, he was because Leroy had the glow. He had not. Did he have the glow? He had the glow. He had the. He had the Yeah, yeah, you know. So yeah. Now, I want to say, when you came into the league in, in 2013, you made an immediate impact. You were named the Big West Conference Freshman of the Year, and you were on the all-freshman team. You know, and then when I look at some of your stats, when I look at your bio, 
you're pretty accomplished. You uh, you became the 17th member of the Thousand Point Club. Mm-hmm. Um, you are you currently second in the program on all time assist. Um, and you you're actually a three time Big West All Conference honoree. Um, you're, you've had a really great career. So you know, it, and my son can listen to this. Your dad did a heck of a job coaching you. <laughs> so I, I want hats that off to, hats exactly, off to Mr. Exactly. exactly. So give us something about your experience and what it's been like being over at. Uh, at uh, Riverside, your hometown. Mm-hmm. No, it was a great experience. I'm, I'm loving every bit of it. Um, my two best friends, Brittany Crane and uh, Makila Martin. Oh, yeah, Brittany from last year. Yeah, they yeah. played with me in high school, and they um, they went to UCR when they graduated. And I think they're a big role model for me. And um, I mean, it made it easier for me just to go to the school. Right. I mean, yeah, it was just easy. And being that's your hometown, yeah, you know, and, and, and I, I, home. I can't tell you how many times Eternal was born and raised in Riverside, oh, and man. I can't tell you how much he he, he talks about. I've never seen a, a bell cut into his hair. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't. You know, you know, my dedication. It's in the heart. It's in the heart. Right, right. right. Now, now the thing about it is, uh, right now for the Highlanders, you guys still do have some tough games on the schedule. You guys uh, are going to be what? You guys have Long Beach State, UC Davis at home, and then you guys have uh, CSUN on the road. Uh, before the Big West tournament, mm-hmm. talk to us a little bit about that because obviously you know it's not over yet. You guys yeah. still have some some work to do. Mm-hmm. Um, Long Beach uh, and Davis, uh, they are a tough tough team to beat. Yeah. Um, Long Beach is not that tall. They're more guard based. Scrappy. Very scrappy. <laughs> um, Davis, they're you know they're shooters. They can cut. They're like a cutting team. They are on the Princeton offense. Right. So kind of hard to guard right yeah. and let me ask you this uh, off the cuff here because you know you see that because one of the things we've hosted a couple of all-star games here and one of the things we found is the girls game because generally uh, you know we'll do it the girls we'll have the girls first and then we'll have the boys game and we found that the girls i mean very very intense are the girls talking out there is there is there talking going on or, oh, is, yeah. it, or is, it, is it this tough play <laughs> no no it, it there's a lot of talking a lot of trash talking <laughs> there's a lot of stuff yeah that's interesting mm-hmm. that's interesting so uh now Again, now, we always have to ask this to, to all the athletes that come in, especially the, the basketball players. We always get a unique ans- answer from the, the women to get a chance to play. Tell us who is your favorite basketball player, male or female? Uh, probably up to probably Derrick Rose and Allen Iverson. Okay. Yeah. And, and, Pre-injury. I'm, Huh? Pre injury. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. okay. Not right now. He, no, 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 no. He, yeah, he's like Derrick Rose. I'm about to say, about to, I'm about to say yeah, Derrick, Derrick, the, the Rose hasn't yeah, grown right, right now yeah, in New yeah, York yeah. yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's all good. So, Allen Iverson, tell me about. Is there is there some games some some of Iverson's game that you've gotten a chance to maybe model or some or or both of them that you model out of your game at all? Um, while I was in high school, uh, they would all call me Allen Iverson. Because right. I used to do his crossovers. Oh. I still do. Right. But, yeah, that's, like, one of the moves I got from him. Right, right, right. Breaking ankles. So, yeah, it. getting them off you. I, can you can you hang out with us for a little bit if we take a quick commercial break? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure you're not being – I say, you know, I, your schedule because, you know, we don't want to coach. You know, we yeah. don't want a problem. I don't want to eat you know? Jones going <laughs> off on me now. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. Let's take a commercial break. You're listening to IE Sports Net Connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports. 1350. We'll be back with Mr. Cool UC Riverside <laughs> women's basketball. You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood-thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's gonna get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey. Hey. 
Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh no, wait, a family hub. Yeah. yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons Now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous community. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. This is Ryan Kelly with the LA Lakers. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio. Your hometown. Man, hometown. Mr. Koo's hometown. Hey, you know how we do it. Saiy Sportsnet connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. And once again, we're joined in studio by University of California at Riverside senior guard, Simone Ducou. You know, like I said, my niece, Jasmine Arrington, graduated from UCR. Hey, hey, so hey. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, we're on IE Sports Net on Fox Sports 1350. So the one thing that I wanted to ask you is the um, of the schools and places that you've traveled to with UCR, which one stands out to you most um, you know, I would say maybe USC playing there, but I mean, this is this is your this is what you wanted to go ahead and let us know. Um, to be honest, the best place we traveled was probably um, Guadalupe, French Islands, Guadalupe. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, we didn't really uh, play like team good teams up there, other than the Porsche uh, professional team. Uh huh. That was one of the my best experiences I've ever had. So that's got to be interesting. You know, we talked about that earlier in the show today. In in, in other countries, uh, here in America, you play college uh, sports, but in other countries, they're playing professionals. Professional, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. that that's got to be interesting. So you played against them. What what's the the difference between those athletes and and, and college athletes? Is there a huge uh, difference? Oh yeah, um, they're way taller, <laughs> for sure. right? And they're quick. Uh-huh. Really, they're fast uh-huh. and they never get tired. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. You see, you're like you're like, hold on, what are they doing? Yeah. yeah. Like. They That's probably get up. First five minutes, I was like, <laughs> trying to keep up with them. And right. they probably get up to play uh, American American. Oh, team. I'm certain they do. I'm certain they're looking forward to that. And and no, please. And then one thing: what does it mean to play for a D1 school um, in your community? Coming out of North, you know, and you know, like we said, there's been a couple of players that came out of North, and I know you name dropped them. But what 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 has it been like to stay home, stay like I said, Eternal? He talks about Riverside and sleep. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what has it been like to to be here? And, and you're in Riverside. Mm-hmm. What is that? What, how, how did you come to that decision and say I, I want to stay home? Um, to be honest, it was for me. It was to save money. <laughs> <laughs> she like it was a monetary thing, but also to give back to the community. Um, you know, put on for the IE. Right, uh-huh. right. Stay home. Right. And my, maybe my supporters down the street. Right, right. Easier for them. Like, yeah. Right, right. Just make it easy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic. 
And, and, I, and I, just to kind of build on that, I, I know because again, you got. I mean, you're literally playing. I mean, you can, it's like walking distance from mm-hmm. from you know where you're doing your thing at North to now where you are at UCR. Uh, what, what is it going to mean? I mean, I, I understand obviously this is going to be your last season. Like, like, what's the goal right now for you in terms of kind of when you finish out the season? What's the goal for you right now? Uh, get healthy um, and play play professional ball yeah. overseas. I mean, that's my my dream right there. Yeah. Just succeed in that. That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. And then also, I want to talk about your academics right now. You're uh, now you are studying. Uh, you're majoring in mm-hmm. uh, MCS. Tell our audience what that is, because because a- Coach B had no. <laughs> you know, we're, you know, you're dealing you're dealing with people like that's why. Hence, we are on radio right now. Yeah, you know, that's like doing. when when I was at my graduation, they said my name, come get a diploma. I was like me. Well, from <laughs> Like you know exactly. Cause I was up there. I was faking my my parents out the whole time. Like, hey, just go ahead, come anyway, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Uh, no, but no, no, tell us what that is, please. Uh, it's media cultural studies. Okay. Um, and it studies um, media. Okay. And how it um affects other people watching it. And, right. You know, uh, we have to study it. It's not. It's like reading a book. Like mm-hmm. you have to write notes down while watching a show. Interesting. Yeah, you have to think deeper. Right. Have a deeper meaning. Okay, like, so don't don't get too deep with us. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> You lost me a study. I'm about to say, did you say taking notes? <laughs> well, fantastic. Again, we uh, we really wish you uh, the best of luck this this season. I hope you, I mean, and uh, and AD Jones has already secured us, and she has got us some seats. Yeah, we got to come out. We're going to be, we're going to be courtside now, because now when I get to the, when I come to the games, I get a little loud, uh-huh. so don't get embarrassed. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, especially I'm, he's going to be rooting for the Riverside. I'm going to be going for the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be going hard for the side. So you know what I mean? So you know, we we really we hope you guys really finish out this year strong. So I, yeah. I know that's I know you guys are really hoping to do so as well. Yeah, um, Coach Mark, he's a really good coach. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, he's sometimes hard. hard yeah. On, some other people, but yeah. um, you know, I'm a senior. I could take it. Right, right. right. You've already been through the. You've been yeah, through the ring. I've already, already been <laughs> yeah. through it. Right. Um, and being He's, a coach's daughter, you got to be used to. Oh, of, of course. Right. I'm not even scared of the yelling. Anymore. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, hey, bring that. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, nah, he's a really good man. Uh, a really good coach. Um, he just works with others. I mean, he tries to make things very comfortable for us girls. Um, yeah. And you know, one thing I, I'll, I ask you because my 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 son is he's only at a high school level. He's he's on the the football team at Awanda. And the one thing I, I've got to think with you all is when you like when you guys play like in Kansas and whatnot. And the thing that you have to think about, you're a, they say student athlete because mm-hmm, student mm-hmm. comes first. Yeah, right. What what is just give me a, 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 your thought? How difficult is that when you you still have to study, mm-hmm. you still have finals and whatnot to take, and you might be gone from school for a week. Yeah. Man, it's hard. <laughs> I can only imagine. No, yeah. it's it's tough. Uh, you miss class, and teachers like, oh well. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Done somehow. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Maybe give it to me before. Sometimes you have to do tests before. Wow. Right. Luckily, sometimes you can do it after. Right. 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 Yeah. So, and, and I and I imagine that's that's something that you are able to, because you being an upperclassman, you can kind of share your experiences with some of the younger athletes as well. Yeah. I imagine just kind of mm-hmm. study habits and so forth, how to get it in that way. Yeah. And that might be why she dropped the season high twenty nine on K- yeah. KU. She was yeah. probably a little upset. Like right, you right. gonna make me study? Right. Gonna make me st- <laughs> I got to study extra tonight. Now I want to I want to bring uh, Mr. Jeremiah on real quick because he has some uh, he has some updates for UCR. So what, if you want to go ahead and step over over here, uh, whatever way you want to do. All right, we'll make sure we get him. Uh, good morning. Uh, so we have our women's golf team who was on the show uh, last yes, season. Yes, indeed. Off a uh, third place finish at the Battle at the Rock tournament. Fifteen teams, Big West Championship preview. Uh, today, we got our women's basketball team out of Cal State Fullerton at 4 o'clock. Uh, our men's basketball team will be playing on ESPNU tonight. Hey, hey. Uh, late start, 9 p.m. Uh, against UC Irvine. Uh, also, uh, softball has a season opener, Coach Palmer, who you had on yes, the show. Yes, yes. Uh, this Wednesday against Siena at 2 p.m. Fantastic. And then on Thursday night, the women's basketball team will be back at home in the SRC Arena against Long Beach State. Uh, Coach Marg will be, could be in search of his 200th career win at UCR. Hold it. And uh, Ray Jean Varin may be uh, on the precipice of her thousandth point at UCR as well. So fantastic, lots going on. And in last thing, UCR men's basketball will be at home against Cal Poly on Fox Sports Prime Ticket Saturday. And then before you, because I always forget, give us that social media where people can go to the website and all that stuff where they can get if they want to get more information on the Highlanders. Miss Jones, I made sure I got all the plugs in. <laughs> okay, so uh, GoHighlanders.com is the website. Social media channels are UCR underscore. Athletics on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, Facebook, UC Riverside Athletics. 
Fantastic. There you go. And you know, go ahead. No, I, and I wanted to also, uh, Simone, for you to also uh, give a shout out to some of your players. I mean, I, I know and you, your dad. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, he coached you. I'm about to say, you know, I, I, I don't. You ain't got to run the whole squad if you don't want to. But you know, just, just some of the some of the players that because I know you know you guys are you guys have a support system there. So yeah. if you guys want to make sure you uh, shout out to some of your oh, players. Yeah, of course, I want to shout out to uh, Diamond Chabi, uh, Michelle Curry, uh, Lolo Holt, uh, Rajon Varen, Clem. Uh, ooh. I don't know how to say her last name. It's hard. <laughs> she's from France. I don't know her last name. Right, yet. right, uh, right, right. Because you, you guys have, a, and speaking of that, you guys have a couple international players. Oh, yeah, we have four. Wow. Have four wow. Um, people from France. Well, one from Guadeloupe and um, and three from France. Wow, that, that is something. And then also, your brother played D1 football, right? Yeah, it's Air Force. Academy. There you go. That, yeah, in Colorado. What? what? What did your dad do? I'm I mean, to get in the Air Force and play football. Yeah, hey. And now you're you're at UCR. Oh, my goodness. Good, you good know, one time. thing I wanted to ask when I was looking at your schedule, mm-hmm. uh, you, you guys play a couple of the UC schools, like you play Irvine and whatnot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What is that like? Because you're both UCs. Do you, I mean, how is that? Is it just a rival to you or? Eh. You, you don't even think, like, I don't even think about it that much. I mean. But, now, what I, what I do want to ask you now, when you know you're playing on ESPN3 or you have a, you have a televised game, mm-hmm. Are you wearing some different shoes for the game, or is it different oh, kind? No, oh, no. Same, same game. Same, same thing. Game. Same, yeah. Yeah. She's I locked like in. That. I like that. She's locked in. Cause so. I know. Cause let me let me tell you something. If they tell they tell me I'm gonna go on INTL, you know, you know, international TV, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have my wristbands on. I'm gonna have you know I'm gonna have about six or seven wristbands on. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be ready to roll. So, well, so I'll you tell just, you like I told my son when he wanted to get all this gear and get all laced up. I said, Do you want to play good or look good? <laughs> I well, said, He want no, Dad, I want to do both. <laughs> yeah. Wearing all these oh gear, but they just be sitting the bench. Yeah, I know. Yeah, don't hey, talk look, about me know. like that. I'm about to say, don't, hey, look, don't talk hey, that's, about that's me. what my dad told me. Like, son, I went to the game and you didn't play. They put you in, I think, the last 60 seconds. That's why I never told my parents to come. Oh to yeah, game. I exactly. didn't want them to be upset. Oh, man. You made me waste my games coming say, up here and, and go embarrass me like that. Ooh, no, that's my mom. Oh. That's... <laughs> She'll say that. <laughs> don't embarrass me. Oh. No, she, she's a big supporter. Oh, is that right? Oh, oh. My God. so can you hear her in the stands? Is she one of those? Oh, oh my, wow. I, when she says my name, I know it's her. Oh, yeah. wow. Because yeah, she says it correct. She probably says the first L last score 17 points. I can right. play my best, best game. game. And she'd be like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> it was all right. It was all right. I didn't see you hustling. <laughs> yeah, right? You didn't get that rebound. Moms yeah. are normally like that. Right. Moms are right. normally the ones that ride you right. like that. Well, that's right. good to have a good support system. We thank you so much for your time, no, obviously. Thank you. Thank and, you. and keep up the good work. Uh, you know, it's great to see people uh, make that jump. Obviously, you got, I uh, uh, know, uh, Young Dikembe Martin has made that jump from from mm-hmm. North, so we, we're really excited to see kids stay home. So it's exciting. Keep up the good work, and hopefully you, know, you. you get a chance to be a role model to other young ladies as they come up and do their thing. So I know you're doing a good job. So keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you for having me. Indeed. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So Miss Deku, a JW North High School alum, she recently became the 17th member of the Thousand Point Club, and recently the second player all time on assist on the assist list. Um, she stuff. is a three time Big West All Conference honoree who earned a second team selection last season. So we appreciate you coming in. So we, Thank you. Uh, Eternal's excited because it's someone that's hey, born and raised in, the in this city. In the you know, she went, even though she went to JW North, not Ramon. It's so. all good. You know, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, Mr. Goodwin, we well, got to get on the come up. They talking bad about me over here. Get it together over there. Uh, we've done this show five years. We've yet to have uh, anyone here you go. from Ramona. Yeah. Hey, wait, there's, there's a guy from Ramona playing for Washington. Who? I don't know his name. Okay. He's 23, though. He's See, she knows better than you. Hey, that's good. You play for Washington or Washington State? Washington State, I think. Okay. Bam, bam. See, hey, there it is. Hey, hey, They hey. just played it, like, last night, I think. See? Yeah, there you go. I, but, I learn something every day. But let's, you know? let's uh, you know, on that note, since you don't know your, uh, about your own school, <laughs> uh, I know that Downey has a kid at, at USC, but I'm just saying. Oh, here um, you go. Uh, football, so. Here you go. Good, so. Here you go. Uh, but thank you so much for listening. We appreciate everybody. We had a great show. At the top of the hour, he had Coach Malecki talking yes. about the, uh, the Desert Valley All-Star Game. Yes, indeed. indeed. Coach yeah. Ford talking about the high desert. Desert. Yes, uh, yes. Football all And that's going to be going down today. Uh, so everybody, you guys get a chance. Now it's going to be what, what the rain is going to do out there. Uh-huh. Hall of Mercy. Right, right, you right. Know, I mean, I want to go up, but I don't know if I'm going to try to take that pass. Woo-woo. You know, yeah. so. But, but folks out there, if you guys are out there in the uh, high desert, it is going to be something. It's going to be a great event out there. It's going to be the West versus uh, East. Um, desert, and it's going to be going down out that way as well. So we thank everybody for listening to IE Sports Net connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com.
the Inland Empire Sports Authority. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.